Hello, welcome to another tutorial about ModX. Um, today I'm going to use the really, really nice ModX boilerplate. Uh, this is developed by Novolo.de, it's a German website. Um, but first, we need to have a ModX install. Um, I'm going to install a ModX website locally. I'm going to use WAMP. Uh, I'm on a Windows computer. If you're on an Apple computer, you can use uh, MAMP, M A M P. Uh, and this will allow you to create a virtual uh, PHP database on your computer, a virtual server. So you can just create your website offline. And once it's finished, you can put it online, of course. So just go to uh, webserver.com, click on download and download your version. I have a 40, 64 bit uh, computer, so I'm gonna use this one. Otherwise download this one. I already downloaded it and installed it. So once that's done, that's fine. Um, Next we need ModX of course, so go to ModX.com, their brilliant new website, looks really really nice. Scroll down a little bit and click on download ModX here. And we will need the latest version, the traditional. And wait a second and it will start to download and save it. Okay, um, next we're gonna need a database. Um, let me show you. Uh, once you have WAMP running, you will see a blue or a green W for WAMP. If you click on it, you get a menu here. You have to go to PHP My Admin. Your browser will open. Let me show you. And you can create a new database. Mine is in Dutch now, but it doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to call my new database database. Uh, usually you would give it a better, bigger name, but for now this is fine for me. And I'm going to make it. That's all we need. That's just it. I can close it again. Okay, uh, in the meanwhile, Molix has downloaded, so I'm going to open it. I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to go to my WAMP folder. It's on the C, or I installed WAMP on C. And there's a WAMP folder, and then www. Go there, and I'm going to create a new website. I'm going to call it a uh, new site. I'm going to paste all the new Molex files in here. I'm going to extract it here. Just in this folder. And this will take a little bit. Okay, extraction has been done. So we have our files here. I can remove the zip. I'm going to copy or cut all the all the files and simply paste it one higher. I don't need this folder. Uh, some people like to keep it there. I actually don't. So all our files are now in the root of our WAMP WW folder and I've called it new site. You can give it another name, of course. So how do we access this one? Uh, go to your browser, open a new tab and just type in local host. You will see your web server uh, yeah, uh, homepage and here you'll see your projects and we see our folder new site. If I click here, it doesn't work. And that's of course because ModX is not installed yet. So just in this URL, add setup, press enter. And here's the ModX install. Um, I'm just gonna go with English for now. Click select, click next. We're doing a new installation. You can keep these default, click next again. And we need to add our domain thing. Um, if you use WAMP, the login name is also always root. Uh, you can change it if you want, uh, but you don't need to, I think, because you're local anyway. The there is no password. By default, you can add one if you want. The database we created in the first step it was simply d database. So this should be it. You can leave this table prefix. That's kind of useful. And it's, it's correct. In my case, uh, I'm going to use UTF-8 and UTF-bin. These are the settings I my database will use. Click test and it's successful. Now add a username. I'm going to use my name, uh, my email, of course, password. And click next. It will check some things. Everything looks fine. And click install. And installation was successful. You can click next. You can remove 
the setup files you won't need to install it again or you can keep them if you want to of course and press login and now we can log in with our information and we have our new ModX website that was really easy you can read through this if you want to uh, I don't need to at the moment so this is our backend and if you go to site and view it will open a new tab with our website which is really empty <laughs> there's nothing there yet but it works it's there so now that we have our fresh install how do we use how do we get a good fast start with a good basic basic format a basic template or boilerplate um, when I was looking for nice stuff I found this HTML boilerplate um, it's really really awesome as it says here uh, it's HTML5 so it's really uh, the, the latest stuff and if you click a little bit down here um, why it's awesome just check out this li link it's cross browser HTML5 caching really good everything's really nice but if you use this this is not for mod X so uh, I already started a template for mod X uh, based on this one but then I found this one from Novolo uh, novolo.da it's also an English version um, and he made it boilerplate and that's really good it's based on the newest version of this one so we can close this um, yeah it's, it's, it's brilliant it's, it's totally optimized for modix um, but it has all kinds of nice stuff so the HTML5 boilerplate it uh, has uh, some JavaScript optimization modernizer can be really useful the latest jQuery modix chunks and templates of course CSS files and also two grid systems especially the first one uh, 1140 pixel grid system uh, that's this one it's really nice if you look at the screen uh, it's 12 columns 12 green squares that's the grid where we design to and the width is an iPad so this is really nice for just normal websites and normal screens but watch if I make the screen smaller the grids stay the same but they just get a bit thinner but everything, the layout stays the same. But if it gets too small, the sidebar goes down, as you can see. And everything is down there. So the, the add, so now it's to the right, and there are four columns here, as you can see. They get big and small. But if I make it really small, they just go under each other. And this is, of course, really useful for mobile phones or really small screens. That's why I love this grid. So. Um, Novolo combined these, the 111 or the 1140 pix pixel system grid. He combined it with the Modic uh, HTML5 boilerplate and optimized it for Modic. So that's why I really like it. So go to this website, novolo.da, and then click on Modic boilerplate. And you go to uh, GitHub where he has the code. So you can click on download here, download the zip file, and you will have it. I will post that on my uh, on my desktop. So let me just see here. Um, I can close this one, this one as well, and right here I have the files. These are the files you get. Um, let's check them out first. Uh, if you open the assets file, you go to you get a templates file, and you get these files. Um, if you want to use the grid I explained, you need the main fluid grid. So just copy all of these. Go up again, go to main, and paste them in. And replace the CSS, that's fine. So now we have those files. Uh, once we have those, we can remove these two. The other grid, by the way, is a fixed grid. A more, more uh, default grid you probably already know, like a 960 grid. This is a little bit different one. Uh, if you just want a fixed website that doesn't scale to proportions, you can use that one as well if you want. OK. Um, in this case, our template is called main. That's fine for now. You can change this to a name you want, of course, if you prefer. OK, so we have all these files. Let's copy all of them. And let's now go to our WAMP folder. So C, WAMP, oh, wrong one, WAMP, WW, new site. And here you see again an assets folder. So I'm going to just paste and overwrite all the files we got. We got. So now I have the modx boilerplate paste it in our modx install and now in assets we have templates and we have a main template 